Hey there guys, Connor with Misery Mountain Mining. I'm out here on uh, Ranchery Creek today doing a little bit of exploration. I'm going to take you up to a mine shaft right up these hills back here at the uh, peaks. And then we're going to go check out the Illinois River and maybe do a little bit of sniping in the wetsuits and having a little bit of fun. I'm out here with my buddy Connor Ziegler here today. We got both Connors. So uh, yeah, let's kick some uh, butt. Can't find any shiny sitting on your hiney. Well, it's extremely hot. I am as red as a tomato. And yeah, that beautiful area surrounding us and we made it to the bottom of the tailings pile. I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like here. So here is our tailings pile. You can see a ton of quartz. I mean, this stuff is just super crystalline, super oxidized. Got a chain. I think we're gonna find some neat artifacts up here. So, let's keep going. Alrighty. So we've made it to the first at it. We've got a shovel. It's at the top of our tailings pile here. No. Been up here once before and I did not see this one last time. Definitely. What do you got there? Interesting little piece. If anybody recognizes what that is, go ahead and leave a uh, comment below. Interesting. Yeah. We got a pretty big door. Now, from what I had read, this is last time it was in operation was in World War II. So. Go ahead and get off the camera here while I make a shuffle in. Alright, so we're here inside of the attic now. You can see this guy is pretty darn wide. Now, I didn't think I was going to find an exposed attic, so I apologize there. You got a workbench. I'm not going to be able to come too far in here with you guys, but I'm going to flip on the flashlight and we're going to do a little exploring here. guys so we pushed back as far as we I felt comfortable I've got some barrels back here so I started to drift off this way let's see we got lots of ore in here and my understanding this is a pretty low grade operation not a lot of high grade material you'll see right here you're not in vertical so I'm not gonna go away good on that that one looks pretty rotten got an extension ladder, so obviously somebody's been working it. Yep, they're going up, so definitely could have been some higher grade material here at one point. Definitely a pretty neat little spot. So I'm going to go ahead and back out now. Oh yeah, got a vegan bar right there. Alrighty, so we're done exploring the first at it. Boys Connor here, he marked his spot. So, the last one's here. You got a beautiful pile of... I'm not sure if this was tailings going down to the crusher or what was going on here. But it's almost like a massive retainer wall of quartz. Super neat stuff. But we're gonna wrap our way down, up that way up on over, see what else we can find, and uh, we'll keep showing you as we go along. Yeah, this is hard rock mining, way different than Placer, but hey, check out this piece, guys. I don't know if the camera's going to do that much justice. That has crazy crystalline structure. Super awesome. Alright, we're going to keep packing up here. Alrighty, so we found our next interesting spot here. We got a ton of quartz. You can see there is a massive door here. And I'm guessing that this goes down to one of those shafts we had seen, but it's collapsed since. Not really much to see down in here, although this is one giant quartz face right here. That's kind of interesting. Spot down below definitely looked like it had seen more attention. So I'm gonna guess that anything towards the top of the hill here was less enriched, whereas the stuff below 
had a pretty, it was pretty high grade comparatively. But yeah, good stuff, guys. So we've just come from this direction. And we got this massive pit here. It goes right down into the serpentine, which is this bluer rock here. Now, let's see if I can detect up any steel down here. Something that might cue me into a vertical shaft. So nothing super crazy. But I feel like hopping in to find out. It definitely looks like they came cutting up through here with maybe a dozer or something and found a vein, followed it straight down. Either way, pretty neat. Time to keep moving on. Well, on our way back down, Connor ended up finding this piece. Super neat. Looks like an old Duraglass bottle. Check that out. Pretty cool. I'm gonna guess 1930s, 40s, something like that, because the screw top. Alrighty. Here is the way for our goal from 101 pans. Just about at a half gram bouncing. Not bad for eight hours worth of panning. So. Well, I appreciate y'all and joining me on this adventure. And now that it's come to a wrap, I would just like to say if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I uh, hope you enjoy our future video coming up here in the future. Alrighty. You guys have a good one.